these assets have been built using public money thousands and thousands of crores of rupees over the last 70 years now the prime minister is in the process of selling the crown jewels of this country if he indeed is against monetization why wasn't the rfp for monetizing new delhi railway station torn to pieces by shri rahul gandhi is this not monetization and if this is monetization then did they sell off the railway new delhi railway station is it owned by jija ji now does he understand what is monetization I wish the opposition questions with some homework done. <clears throat> Who actually monetized the Mumbai Pune corridor? Was it not the Congress party? Was it not under the Congress party which was headed by Shri and is even now being headed by Shrimati Sonia Gandhi? Eight thousand odd crores was raised by that. New Delhi railway station. who called for the rfp on it was it not the congress party somewhere between 2008 5 something like that new delhi railway station rfp call for was made 27 10 2008 who was the prime minister then who was the finance minister then and i would la i would definitely ask shri rahul gandhi who even when the prime minister was abroad when he thought one of the ordinances was so outrageous he tore it up in front of the media did he tear the rfp call for the new delhi railway station to be monetized did he tear this out if he indeed is against monetization why wasn't the rfp for monetizing new delhi railway station torn to pieces by shri rahul gandhi is this not monetization and if this is monetization then did they sell off the railway new delhi railway station is it owned by jija ji now Does he understand what is monetization? And I took the pains even then for, if I may now admit, the sake of the former president of Congress Party, because monetization may probably mean something to him that we are not selling off. There will be a strict handing back. I said it, and I'm sure many in your. media friends will remember that the, those were words which i uttered so congress party can every now and then come up with oh you're selling off the country selling off. that's something which they are very good at they sold air they sold water they sold land they sold mines and made a lot of kick back with it from 2014 i challenge if there's been even an allegation a whisper of allegation against prime minister modi's government so to lead people to believe something which is not true to mislead people i can give you more examples examples of those asset monetizations which happened during congress period please ask him to take it all out and then explain it before you if that meant selling of those properties the monetization pipeline that was announced by me day before yesterday two days ago there is no change of ownership 
the ownership is still with government of India. They are brownfield assets which are almost completed but are underutilized. If government has to utilize it better, it has to be put through monetization process wherein it will be put to effective use with a bit more addition to spruce it up or to keep bring it up to the level of utilization. So this is absolutely the obvious. You in the media, particularly those who handle the business and finance and everything else, do understand it. I am sure you will be able to ask the Congress party about the way in which, to, in which they jump into conclusions and charge the government about, oh, you're selling away everything which has been built 70 years over. Something like that, he did say. 70 years over, they built. And what did happen during the Commonwealth Games? Within one Commonwealth Games, they finished all that which can be creamed out into the accounts of their cronies. That is their business, not the government of Prime Minister Modi's. Thank you.